I see you've disposed of your escort. You the one who sent that summons? You are here because I have use for you. Do not forget that. Can't say I appreciate Sith hospitality. Start. Destroy what is mine again and I shall return the favor. What gave it away? Choose your words as if your life depends on them pleasing me. <laughs> Gonna remember that. Today, Corellia's leadership swore allegiance to the Sith Empire. Despite total occupation, the people openly rebel. What should have been a bloodless victory has escalated into full-scale war. The Treaty of Coruscant is no more. I want the Supreme Chancellor's head in my hand when I deliver victory to the Dark Council. You will provide it. That doesn't sound like an offer. You will be adequately compensated. What makes you think I'm gonna work for you? Refusal would be unwise. Don't ask much, do you? I ask what I require. If wealth and acclaim are not enough incentive, perhaps revenge will motivate you. You have made an enemy in the Supreme Chancellor's closest advisor. Do what I ask and you will have your opportunity for vengeance. I'll assist you as long as you make it worth my while. Don't give me a reason to change my mind. The sooner I get to break that Jedi's face, the better. So long as our enemies remain on Coruscant, they are beyond even your reach. But Jun Seras will not be difficult to draw out. Getting to him will put you within striking distance of the Supreme Chancellor. Corellia is where we will put them down. There are obstacles that must be removed before we can act. You will remove them. For a price, of course. Of course. Person, place, or thing. Some old enemies from the last war have re-emerged. A Republic privateer made famous assisting Hilo Vs break the Mandalorian's blockade. And a Kuwati noblewoman credited with orchestrating numerous successful uprisings on Imperial occupied worlds. Consider them dealt with. You want them back? Or gone? They could prove useful, but leave nothing to chance if there's any risk of their escape. What makes these two worth taking out of the picture? The Kuwati woman is in a position to turn an entire species in tune with the Force against us. And the privateer could rally thousands of independent ships to his aid. Allowing either to assist the Corellians would be fatal. This star chart shows the last destination of your first target. Make it his final. My subordinates will brief you upon arrival. Miko, the situation's taken care of. Unlock the hangar. I'll explain when I get back. Really? Th that's it? Okay, see you soon. My subordinates tell me that you dealt with the privateer and the Kowati woman. There's nothing keeping the plant from moving forward. Good. When do I get my hands on June Ciros? Soon. The campaign on Raban is coming to a close. I will direct my forces towards a full-scale assault on Corellia. Rendezvous with my flagship, the Tyrant, in Raban's outsystem. My lord, it's a relief to see you unscathed. Where is Captain Evelyn? I... he... The, the captain's dead, sir. My lord. And yet you avoided his fate. Yes, I, I mean, no. We were sur... If I sell you out, it's gonna be to that guy. Just saying. I have you to thank for a ship. You can add this to my bill. So be it. Have this ship operational by the time we are finished. I am mobilizing my entire division to Corellia. The rebellion will be crushed. Corellia will fall, but military victory will not be enough. I do not want the Republic merely defeated. They must submit. A win's a win. We will not make martyrs. The people will see their heroes broken and the Republic fail them. 
You pay me enough, I'll get them to sing. Capture will suffice. There is a massive resistance supporting the Republic's defense of Corellia. You will secure the rebel leaders. I will make them kneel. When the rebellion bows before Corellia's rightful leaders, our trap will be set. What's the rebellion got to do with Jun Siros and the Supreme Chancellor? If Corellia is conquered, the Republic will send troops. If Corellia secedes, the Republic must rely on diplomacy. Assuming you break them. Their limits will not be tested, they will be shattered. What happens once this trap is sprung? A compact will be signed publicly. Corellia's governor will demand that the Supreme Chancellor ratify the treaty and withdraw Republic forces. The Supreme Chancellor will have to acknowledge that the Corellians have chosen Imperial rule. But not before Jun Seros convinces him that his Jedi can turn the tide. I've only seen Seros operate through proxies. He was undefeated on every front he led during the last war. He will not sit idle while Corellia falls. Zero shows his face. I'll blow it off. When do we start? Immediately. I have sent my forces ahead, under command of General Crow. Meet with him and proceed according to plan. When the Tyrant is hyperspace capable, I will join you. You've obtained Chairman Fane. Good. We proceed on schedule. General, see to the Bounty Hunter's reward. Yes, my lord. Our next objective is to bring Corellia's beasts to heal. You will be the one to break them. You want an animal handler? Find a circus. Silence. <laughs> How do you plan for me to do that? The Corellians cohabit with a number of species. The most numerous and organized are the Salonians. The Republic needs to see the Salonians accede to the Empire. A representative must be acquired. Never seen a Salonian. What am I looking for? Man-sized vermin with enough intelligence to fear us. They support the Rebellion from Coronet City's interstitial maintenance corridors. And you want me to grab your token Salonian? I get it. No, not just any mongrel. I require a rebel. A ringleader. One particularly tenacious animal leads packs of raiders to undermine our front lines. It will make as good an example as any. General Trow will brief you on the battle plan. When you have the creature, bring it to me in Axial Park. You got someplace more important to be? I lead from the front. Do not keep me waiting. Your representative, Darth Tormund. Impressive. For an animal. The trap is nearly set. All that remains is to capture the last figurehead of Corellia's old regime. Corellia's civil police force commissioner. Somehow Commissioner Carter survived the initial purge of dissenters before Prime Minister Falcone delivered Corellia to us. I'm almost tempted to handle this one no charge. Almost. I'd have thought Corellia'd be under martial law by now. Corsac was disbanded. Officially. One of the many steps taken to ensure a smooth exchange of power. It failed. Did the assassination attempt spook him into hiding? Hardly. Since the Purge, Commissioner Carter has rallied the Rebellion. The public sees him as the last legitimate voice of the Corellian people. Carter and his Corsac officers are the backbone of the civilian resistance. Imperial troops can't handle a bunch of lousy beat cops? The threat they pose isn't direct. They've trained throngs of combatants and guided thousands of Republic troops behind our lines. Corsac is one thing, but I'm not keen on dragging any more bystanders into this war. It will not be an issue. Clobbering the local hero ought to take the fight out of them. Shattering the people's convictions will be all too easy. Corsac's old headquarters is now a formidable fortress. Our forces are laying siege to it as we speak. Their standing orders are to block off any escape. That is all. Can't we coordinate something? There will be no assaults until you have secured the Commissioner. Contact me when Commissioner Carter is in custody. My troops will cover your exit. Commissioner is secure. Good. 
our forces have control of the Corellian legislature. Deliver Commissioner Carter to the Grand Assembly. Your reward will be waiting. Prepare the Commissioner for the surrender. My Lord! Your success is noted. When do I get the real prize, Tormund? Soon. Anyone else you're planning to add to this gathering? Your work is done for now. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Watch these rebels sign our enemy's death warrant. Just call me when you've got something. Do not stray far. Might as well see this through. Supreme Chancellor Janaris, respected members of the Galactic Senate, the Corellian people have chosen. We will not continue to be held captive by a failed system. I ask, no, I demand that Supreme Chancellor Janaris ratify this treaty and acknowledge Corellia as a sovereign system of the Sith Empire. It was only a matter of time. As Prime Minister for Life, let me be the first to welcome you to Imperial Corellia, my lord. Had you delivered what you promised, you would enjoy a longer reign. That how you conclude all your business? When the agreement is not upheld. If there's nothing else. Make yourself comfortable. The trap is set. Now, we wait. Darth Tormund desires your presence immediately. This way, please. A large Republic fleet has entered the system. It includes the founder, Supreme Chancellor Janaris's personal flagship. These reinforcements are attempting to consolidate at the Green Gardens. You know who leads them. What are the Green Gardens? A fortress with window dressing. Seros has been spotted. He is a conspicuous leader. June Seros seeks to urge Coronet City's Green Jedi out of their enclave and press the attack. When their forces are amassed, the Republic will attempt one last offensive. You have until then to reap your vengeance. I could care less about Seros. Show me the bottom line. To collect the Supreme Chancellor's head, you will require the information in Seros's possession. I work at my own pace. If Seros leads his attack, he will die. I will not surrender ground for your vendetta. Attacking June Seros within his headquarters is the only way to be sure crucial data is in his possession. Dispose of Seros. Quietly. No one must know of his demise. Bring his effects to me. Pathetic. I did not see Saros. You were successful? I didn't have any difficulty dispatching my Jedi. Only Jedi would call something this fragile, Battlemaster. 
killed a few Sith in my time, Tormund. Then they were feeble. The Sith are stronger for having such weakness stamped out. Battlemaster some sort of special honor? Before our return, June Seros taught all Jedi the art of conflict. We still have living targets to appraise. Indeed. His death is a crippling blow to the Jedi Order. And without June Seros at his side, the Supreme Chancellor is exposed. Victory is close. Gonna pay for that, or browse all day? Your compensation will be appropriate. Don't leave me hanging. It's encoded with June Seros' bioscan. That's going to get us the Supreme Chancellor? Once the encryption is broken, we will know this data's true value. I've had my fill of sitting around. You may go. I didn't come this far to let the big catch get away. I will have the Supreme Chancellor's head. You know more than you're letting on. June Seros came here aboard the Founder. He was privy to its security protocols, landing codes, even the Supreme Chancellor's itinerary. My subordinates will transmit the relevant data to your vessel when it's prepared. Until then, make yourself useful to Darth Decimus. The battle for Corellia is not yet decided. The Jedi are broken. The Republic forces are in disarray. Now is the time to strike. You will depart Corellia. Make for the Founder, the Supreme Chancellor's flagship, immediately. The Founder's landing codes will give the Republic fleet little reason to fire upon you. Were the landing codes the only thing of worth? Only the most relevant. The data retrieved from June Seros has proven invaluable. You think they'll just let me fly right to the Supreme Chancellor? The Republic should expect deception. You must make things convincing. Somehow, I'm not reassured. The fate of this operation will not be left to the landing codes alone. Captain Horn has prepared an SOS signal using the Republic's ciphers. When you leave the spaceport, you will be pursued by our ships. The Republic will allow you to board or they risk allowing one of their own to die. We will give them no time for doubt. If you think I'm gonna let you shoot me down, you got another thing coming. I expect you can handle it. Should make a good anecdote for the next time I see Mandalore. Do not hesitate to dispatch your pursuers if they become troublesome. Will your pilots know I'm on their side? Their orders will be to stop you at all costs. You will reach the Founder by any means necessary. Once on board, your first priority will be to destroy all crafts in the adjacent hangars to prevent the Supreme Chancellor from escaping. Does Cirrus' data specify what's docked in those hangars? Leave nothing to chance. Destroy anything capable of spaceflight. Meanwhile, the Supreme Chancellor hits the nearest escape pod and sinks this plan before it's even started. It is unlikely he will risk using an unguided escape pod while the Empire dominates Corellia. The hangars are his only hope. Improvised demolition is one of my specialties. With no means of escape, only the Supreme Guard will stand between you and your prey. Time to see if the Supreme Guard live up to their name. I will await you on the Tyrant. Once the deed is done, how do you expect me to break away from the Republic fleet? Signal your success, and the Tyrant will lead an attack to cover your escape. The Supreme Chancellor's fate is sealed. I'd rather be a liar than whatever Tormund wants me to be. Keep your word and Tormund will disappear. Dark Lord's good sport, at least. I understand the risk you're taking. Thank you. The Supreme Chancellor's been dealt with. Good. Make for the Tyrant. The fleet will cover your escape. We'll engage the Imperial fleet, but I'll have to survive this to hold up my end of the bargain. If you can somehow cripple the Tyrant after dealing with Tormund, we can handle the rest. The Tyrant won't trouble you, Chancellor. You reek of vengeance and satisfaction. The Supreme Chancellor's death has excited your passions. Relish it. Experience some small measure of what it is to be Sith. Now, deliver what I have asked of you. I got an offer more in line with my work ethic. I expected better. This 
was deserved. Some deals just fall through. Trusting in a tool, however useful, was a mistake. The task of delivering the master stroke I should have reserved for myself. The galaxy would know. None are beyond my reach. All would cower or they would burn. And the Dark Council would see how total victory is achieved. Even Sith don't get everything they want. The Chancellor wants to make a liar out of you. He could throw offers at me until the Treasury ran dry. Today, I'd rather make history. One for the records. I got your head, Tormund. Good. Make for the tyrant. The fleet will cover your escape. Is the ruler of the Republic, a ruined old man crumpled at my feet. Today we have shaken the galaxy to the core. All will know our names and tremble. Relish it. There will be other victories, but none this sweet. You should have seen him beg. I will see the Dark Council bow their heads to me in veneration. You're a valuable asset. Perhaps my most valuable. I will make good use of your talents when I take my place among the Dark Council. Anytime you need someone to make room for you at the top, you give me a call. Just make sure your offer's competitive. This is a business, after all. I would expect nothing less. <laughs> <laughs>